welcome, my brothers and sisters, and I thank you. And my ancestors sent me a message, said, don't fret. And I honor thy mother, I honor thy father, I honor thy brother, I honor thy sister. And I'm here to give a message from our ancestors, my melanated, my black people. Let's love ourselves. Let's just love ourselves. That's all. Love is can lead to many great things. Love can lead to those who join in and listen to another EBX discussion. Salute. Any of my podcasts, anytime you take time out of your day to come in and listen to a brother. Because there I know there are many great brothers and sisters out here that's showing that love that they have inside of them love is the best commodity folks love is better than money I'm talking about real love the pit to the bottom of the soul that love that's just motivates you and make you want to do more great things that kind of love not no looking in the mirror and I, I love myself not conceited love that deep rooted spiritual love Something that we can pass down through generation to generation. Like I said, if I didn't say this already, love is better than money. Love, having self-love, that is. Having deep self-love is better than sex. You have to have love. How can you begin to show love to others if you don't love yourself? Because once you got hate, it's a done deal. And we have to harbor that that good peace as much as we can and pay attention to things and be analytical so we can sustain our love that we fought, some of us fought so hard to get. Because it's definitely a battle for me. It's not easy coming to that inner peace and having love, self-love. But all it takes is results, folks. Always keep results in our mind. Always look for solutions. Not just blowing hot air. Because that divine, when he, when that force has a plan for us, that force will convict us and make us get up off our ass. Because it's not just, it's not about soft love. You know, when you have that real love within, you'll show that tough love too. Because not everybody's going to be able to what we say overstand or understand understand the love that a lot of us are able to have for oneself because like I said again folks it's not easy to come by having self love it's it's a it's a building process a lot of things you can't let enter to our psyche to sustain our love as I said because sometimes Having that love within, like truly loving yourself, is all we have sometimes, along as with our mind. It's like gold. Love will get you through a lot of storms. Love will give you compassion when you have love within. It gives you the gift of compassion, empathy, and understanding why some brothers or sisters are in the state that they're in as far as their mind. Love will help you to overstand those, but it always comes down to you have to have self-love yourself in order to lift oneself, keep oneself going. Because a lot of times in this weird world we're in, the world don't give a fuck about us. So we have to love ourselves. And what brought me to this conclusion and why this was in my spirit, because I was meditating on Malcolm X a few hours ago. I always like to do my little meditation and because I am also a listener, you know. I speak and do whatever the, the divine puts in my desire or in my spirit. Like a lot of us melanated teachers, reachers and teachers out here, salute. We just get things in our spirit and we get this this fiery desire to speak it. You know, when it's coming from a good place, it's good. You know, talking is good sometimes, you know. It just depends on what you're talking about because it gets things up out of you and it cleanses the soul. 
you know, especially if it's righteous. And having a loving soul and a loving heart also cleanses you. Like I said, results would just make you want to love more and more. And having love within, and I'm sure a lot of my brothers and sisters, those that have that real genuine love within for our brothers and our sisters will feel this same way. Having love and doing self-checks, I must enter, I must say. Self-checks, another spirit I got from that great Malcolm X. We need a self-check class because definitely can't begin to teach no one else if we don't got ourselves right inside. Because again, I'll bring it up again. Once the moment we let hate enter and we don't do anything about it or see why we're getting it and analyze it and we just don't try to have love, hate, once it gets into your system, it's a done deal. And you can, when you're in denial, that's the worst thing you can do because it'll pop out. So that's why the great Malcolm X mentioned, and if you want, you can go look on my meditation podcast. I do those from time to time, just kind of take time to think, you know. Sometimes I'll listen to Brother Malcolm X speak sometimes during my meditation. Sometimes I'll just be quiet and won't, you know, listen to anything and meditate. And, you know, just think about things and call down protection from, you know, our that great universe and greater creator. I, I do that a lot, you know, for all of us, for ourselves, from ourselves. I do that a lot because one thing we have to be careful of and, and having love, that real genuine love within one great thing it'll keep us from doing, brothers and sisters, is being our own worst enemy. Because that's worse than any any other enemy. Is when we are our own. And that's one of the things Malcolm was talking about in my meditation. And so that's what came in my spirit. And I say, you know, do self-checks on ourselves. Pay attention to our feelings and things we take in. And pay attention to our children, our family, significant other. And anything of importance, you know, pay attention to. Negative, positive. Try to be as aware as we possibly can. But most of all, keep that love. Love, love is always the ties that bind, always. Even when it's not easy, love will always see you through. Because what, what force loves when we keep that love within? The divine, ladies and gentlemen. Always keep that divine in our mind. And we'll be fine, you know. Because love has gotten me through a lot of storms. And like I say, love, again, I'll reiterate, love will lead us to some great things, like leading me to volunteering at my son's school. And I'll mention that from time to time. You know, having a love and wanting, wanting to see the, one, wanting to see the growth in a young brother or a sister is, is great. And I'm glad, you know, just as well as a lot of us out here. Aren't you glad that that great divine is touching your heart? and making you do the great things you're doing and seeing the great things you're seeing. It's beautiful, isn't it? You know, it's not easy sometimes, but when we do see those clouds disappear and that sun shine, and you know, on our lives, through all the crazy crap we go through sometimes, it's beautiful. When you get a hold of those moments and you do get, get, a, get some love in you, I mean, you really feel that real love, not that fake shit, hold on to it, you know? And share it to others. When you get that real love, not that conceited shit, the real deep love that we get from our divine. And like I said, that's what led me to volunteering, and you know, have, had a lot, a lot of people help me along along the way, as well as my family and people I've met outside my family. That's really helped helped me to shape, you know, a brother's mind and got me to the state that I'm in, as well as my divine, you know, our divine. So that's what led me to volunteering and I'm being active with the youth. And it's really, again, it's a beautiful thing when you're actually doing what you're saying. That's what makes it all worth it. You know, once we, once we get that plan and set that goal in our mind, let's step, let's step down on that concrete and, and take action. Because that's the spirit I got from great Malcolm X. 
at some point we got to take action and make it happen and I, I make a, a vow and a promise to those that listen to me those that taught me along the way my family and that great divine great creator mother nature the universe that I would do everything I can within the fiber of my body to keep love within and keep sharing it to those who listen to me and anyone that I come in contact with that want to grow and or maybe already already in a success state of mind we still can vibe and and still you know I send that I send that vibration of love out to my brothers and sisters reaches and teachers my family friends just keep that love within no matter what through all the storms and love will always see us through in the end love others love those we come in contact with that that powerful radiant love but most of all brothers and sisters love ourselves we can never go wrong you know but we'll attract those that that see our love you know because that's what it's about at the end of the day so just keep love and i honor your family i honor my family i honor my children their mothers reaches and teachers salute brothers and sisters all over the world may you have the ultimate peace wherever you are in your part of the world right now